Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. I can talk really slow because there's only <laughs> two things going on today. Oh, it's yeah, a slow day. It's Thursday, the May the 19th. It's <laughs> National Devil's Food Cake Day, which tastes good. I like Devil's Not Food. Not a fan of the name. They should call it something else. Uh, and also national it's because it's sinful, John. Is that what it is? Yes. National May Ray Day today. May Ray. Yeah, it's all that going on. And I got a dear John letter. We'll spend a little bit of time talking about this. Uh, there's a young lady who got herself in a bit of a predicament. She rented an apartment with her boyfriend, who's now her ex boyfriend, but they're still uh, living together. Uh, awkward. Mm, yeah, could be a cautionary tale for somebody listening today as well. Uh, if you have an opportunity, if you're interested in chiming in, you can do that on our Facebook. page page it's also where you'd submit your own dear john letter facebook.com slash john and heidi show thanks for listening to the john and heidi show on a thursday what can i say that i haven't already said about bettercreditcards.com it's a website you go there to get a better credit card okay that's really probably all i need to say for most of you but i still have time left so how about this at bettercreditcards.com we have different kinds of credit cards some with better points and perks some designed to help you build your credit whatever stage of life you happen to be in we want to help give yourself a little credit bettercreditcards.com that's bettercreditcards.com now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. There's a group called Smarty. They revealed the top 30 ways our nation is pinching pennies. Many ditching household names in favor of brand names. Yeah. Others are, uh, instead of like their own brand products, like generic brand products. Right. And most popular being turning down the heat. So that's like number one on the list. But 89% claim they go out of their way to curb their spending. 56% say they use their old smartphone long past the contract to save yeah. money. Um, what else do they have? Survey found that a third have financial spring cleaning at least once a year to ensure their finances are in order. And uh, unused subscriptions are no longer active. That's something yeah. good to do, to go through your credit oh, card or, sure. or uh, billing Make statements. Make sure you're not just getting automatic. We've had billed. that happen. Yep. Had one recently where uh, there was this weird charge, and we found out what it was, and we said, "Oh, that's not even active. That's not accurate." And then we found out, "Oh, wait a minute, that was something we needed." <laughs> that's something we used. I felt so dumb. <laughs> yeah, we we got a letter. They're like, "Hey, uh, something was listed as fraud. What's going on here?" I'm like, "Oh, that's me. I'm a I'm an idiot." Uh, there's a lot more interesting stuff in the show notes if you want to read all the stuff in the surveys and studies and such section at John and Heidi Show dot com. Are you looking for an energy drink that's natural, lasts longer, has no dyes, no artificial flavorings, and no sugar? Blitz Energy Drink is the answer. With only 10 calories per serving and 200 milligrams of caffeine, our formula will help increase your focus, endurance, mood, and energy levels. Order now at drinkblitzenergy.com. Use promo code RADIO20 to save 20% and get free shipping on any canister. Drinkblitzenergy.com. Promo code RADIO20. That's drinkblitzenergy.com. Did you know? Brought to you by RadioTravelGroup.com. Heidi, did you know? New survey says by pointing your bed and other furniture the right direction, your physical and mental well-being could greatly improve. Uh-huh. I have actually heard that A before. team from Mariachi International University in Iowa looked at 40 years of research and practice of the Mariachi Vastu Architecture, MVA, if you want to call it Zen or Flow, they found the placement of certain objects inside a building and the direction they face can impact everything from stress to sleep to mental health. So, it says, according to study, if your head is facing to the east or the south when you sleep, you're more likely to have a lower heart rate or blood pressure or cholesterol level. Huh. So, so I got to figure out which direction we sleep. So, if our head is facing what now? To the, to the east or to the south? <gasps> our heads are facing to the south. We need to flip our bed around. Hmm. How are we going to get in the closet? <laughs> All right. Now, again, we don't know everything, but we do know this. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Netflix could be launching a cheaper ad-supported tier as soon as the end of this year, according to some employees. That's also when they plan to crack down on password swapping. So if you know people who are sharing passwords, they could all go to prison for the rest of their life. Prison? Uh, probably not that. But no, They're going to crack not. down somehow. Probably They'll just probably by, turn off your service. Yeah, that's probably what they're going to do. Uh, they had a, a company quarter one loss of 
200,000 subscribers. Neither expected so quickly. Uh, they were just kind of baffled by how that happened. Every major streaming company, excluding Apple, has announced an ad-supported service for good reason. They can lower the price that way. And the famous hammer Chris Hemsworth wielded as Thor is hitting the market and is expected to get six figures, over $100,000 wow, is what they're expecting for this thing. that's impressive. And they say that some of the stuff that's on this memorabilia auction they think is going to go for over a million dollars. Wow. So... I've got a link with all the details if you want to read it. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Join us in October for The Sands, a week of music and fun that's been described as the best week ever by many guests. This year, we have more icons and more fun. Loverboy, Belinda Carlisle, Lou Graham, Vanilla Ice, Samantha Fox, Firehouse, and many more already on the schedule. Plus, more announcements coming soon. Plan to join us October 25th through the 30th at Planet Hollywood Beach Resort Cancun. This all-inclusive event will be the time of your life. Learn more now at radiotravelgroup.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of bettercreditcards.com. How well do you know your partner? Well, a therapist shared a video on TikTok, 15 small but significant things you should know about your partner six months Uh into your relationship. So Heidi and I have been married a little over six months now. Well, 22 (laughs) years (laughs) over six months. a little over. Yeah, so 22 years and six months. Uh, According to this person, practicing therapist for over 15 years, it's essential you know certain things about your significant other in order to feel more confident and worthy in the relationship. His words, not mine. If you give an intimate picture of who the person really is, again, his words, uh, a warning from the doctor, you probably won't be able to answer all the questions, so it can also be a fun exercise to create closeness if you go through the list with your sweetie. You want to do some of these? Sure. How do they want their celeb- to celebrate their birthday? Do you know how I want to celebrate my birthday? I don't even know how I want to celebrate my birthday. <laughs> okay, well, check and check. <laughs> we don't know, either of us. How much alone time do they want or need? Heidi wants more alone time I than like, I do. Yeah, I do like more there alone times time than you do. I walk in the room, she's like, can you just go away? I mean, <laughs> it's not quite that. Just leave bad. me alone. Like, Can't you get a hobby? I'm like, okay, fine. I'll go get a hobby. And then it's like, will you come to my hobby with me? It's like, no. Yeah, that's exactly what I do because I don't want the alone time. What is their favorite food, Heidi? Uh, French fries is Heidi's favorite. Yours is prime rib. There we go. We know each other so well. Is yours French fries? Yes, it is, actually. What turns them on and gets them in the mood? We're not going to talk about that on the air. How long do they need to... Mine is furniture stores. (laughs) It's such a weird thing. (laughs) So want to go furniture shopping? Yes, I do. Uh, How long do they need to get ready to head out the door? I don't need any time at all. Me either, really. There's literally times where she's like, hey, I'm going to go to the car. I'm like, I'm going to start getting ready. (laughs) I can totally transform myself in 15 minutes flat and look completely different. Other things on the list, favorite shows, bands, controversial, what's their most controversial take, best friend, uh, what makes them laugh, biggest insecurities. If you want to... Follow along and ask these questions of your sweetie. I've got the entire list in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Are you ready to enjoy a little slice of paradise? Check out this beautiful family-owned, professionally managed vacation rental in sunny Poipu, Kauai, Hawaii. Our family stayed recently and we absolutely loved it. The area is so beautiful and the vacation rental has room for up to six guests. Why stay in hotel rooms when you can all enjoy your own area in a vacation rental? Visit Hawaii and make your trip to this tropical paradise one to remember. Learn more at radiotravelgroup.com. That's radiotravelgroup.com. It's time right now for Dear John John Letters. Letters. All right, I got a predicament here today, Heidi. Okay. I'm not I'm not a fan of predicament letters. I don't know how much fun we're gonna have with this because you know I like to poke fun and have a little fun. Well you can't do it when it's a predicament like this. Here we go. Dear John, my situation is not great. I started dating a guy a few years ago. My kids are grown and gone, so I decided to sell my home and rent an apartment. At the time, my boyfriend's lease was up, so he discussed it, uh, we discussed it, and we moved in together. We're both in our upper 40s. We're both divorced with adult children. Looking back, I probably should not have made the decision to move in together, but we did. That was 10 months ago. Now we've split up, and we still have a lease together. Mm. We have different rooms, but our names are both on the lease. I could probably move out but I want to make sure he doesn't purposely ruin the place to hurt my credit. His credit is already pretty much shot, so it wouldn't really matter to him. 
Mm-hmm. I wish I would have gotten my own place and he could have just stayed in his own place, but we didn't do that. Any advice on how I can best wiggle out of this mess? Would love some good advice. Yikes. Signed, least with an X. All right. Well, first of all, least with an X. I uh, I can tell you that's not a good spot to be. No, that's awful. Can you imagine, like, think about back to, like, the last time you broke up with somebody. If you had to, because they said that was 10 months ago they rented, so there's two months yeah, left. Yikes. If you had to spend an extra two months together after breaking up. Yeah, awkward. I can't even imagine how awful that would be. So I really feel for you. Um, my advice... Of course, hindsight is twenty twenty. My advice would be don't do that ever, but, you know, you already did it. So my advice would be take the high road, be as nice and polite and as, you know, as good as you can possibly be. Hope that he does the same thing. And, you know, if you're cordial and if you're nice and if you're just friendly, uh, it doesn't really say why they broke up. I think that would probably help in this situation to know that, wouldn't you? Because, like, yeah. if they broke up because, uh, you know, cheating or... or if this person's a violent person or whatever... You know, that would all that my my advice would be different if I found out this person was violent, because then I would say, get out of there, period. No matter what. Yeah. Here's one thing I will say. If you can go to the company that you leased this from and say, is there any way to get my name off the lease? You can come in right now and see how I'm leaving the place. Right. I'll gladly pay the the next two months rent, but I don't want to be on this lease if I'm not going to be here. We right. broke up. You know, if I would start there, find out, is there something I can do or see if he will move? Say, hey, if you want to move, I'll, I'll pay the full lease all the way through the end. You know, if if there's any way for him to be cordial and say, you know, yeah, I want to move on anyway. And again, it, we don't know if he's, you know, if, if they're breaking up because he's dating someone else, maybe he wants to move in with someone else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think the first thing I would do is talk to the company. Um and maybe they even have some sort of clause for this because I guarantee you, it's even though it's the first time you've been through this, if it's a company that rents to a lot of people, yeah, they've, they've been probably seen this, this before. They they've been through this. Plan. Maybe even have like, oh hey, here's a here's the the addendum for that. Right. <laughs> they might even have a form for it. Uh, if you would like to chime in with some advice for at least with an X, you can chime in on our Facebook page. Any advice for you? Any other thing you want to say? You used to manage some apartments. Did you ever have anything like this happen? I did, but no, I did. I didn't have anything like that happen. But in the meantime, until you can get out, I would um, dip his toothbrush in the toilet. No, don't do that. So that you at least know <laughs> that karma's taking care of a little bit of it. No, because then it's going to come back on you. So don't do that. <laughs> you want to know? Yeah, it's a bad him. idea. No, it's not a great uh, I sure idea. hope he's not listening. So. <laughs> I think that's a bad plan. But no, I would keep to myself and he keep to himself. And again, be as cordial and as nice as possible. And if there's a way to get out of it, talk to the company that you leased from. Again, I'm sure that they've probably, and, and maybe it would even be this. If you went to them and said, hey, I'd like to lease my own apartment. I'll stay with you guys. I'll continue a lease with you, but I just want to go to a different apartment. Right. You know, so if you're going to continue a lease somewhere else, and but I need my name taken off this one, you can come in and see how I'm leaving it. I don't know what he's going to do. You know, he's on his own for the next two months. But if I can get my own place, that's probably what I would do. And I think if you're staying with that company, they might be a little easier to work with. So I don't know. But first dip is toothbrush <clears throat> in the toilet. Don't listen to Heidi. <clears throat> I, I almost have to say that every time. All right. <laughs> that is your Dear John letter for this Thursday. What can I say that I haven't already said about BetterCreditCards.com? It's a website. You go there to get a better credit card. Okay, that's really probably all I need to say for most of you, but I still have time left, so how about this? At BetterCreditCards.com, we have different kinds of credit cards, some with better points and perks, some designed to help you build your credit. Whatever stage of life you happen to be in, we want to help. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. Why is that In 1908, the New York Times advised readers to wash their hair about every six weeks. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, I'm way ahead of the game then. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Pollen can travel up to 500 miles in a single day. That would That's, explain the allergies. Yeah. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Coffee beans have very little taste until they're roasted. Interesting. Very interesting. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? When you walk down a steep hill, the pressure on your knees is equal to three times your body weight. 
Really? Yeah, yeah which is not good Yikes, for me. Yikes, no. <laughs> Don't go down a steep hill. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Penicillin was originally referred to as mold juice. <laughs> I think penicillin's a much better name. Uh, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? 75% of people who use a Q-tip stick them in their ear, even though the box says, don't stick them in your ear. Isn't that what they're for? No. You're supposed to rub them around the outside edge of your ear. And our final wow. fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Penguin urine makes up 3% of Antarctica's glaciers. Ew, don't put that in the brochures. A couple of fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Are you looking for an energy drink that's natural, lasts longer, has no dyes, no artificial flavorings, and no sugar? Blitz Energy Drink is the answer. With only 10 calories per serving and 200 milligrams of caffeine, our formula will help increase your focus, endurance, mood, and energy levels. Order now at drinkblitzenergy.com. Use promo code RADIO20 to save 20% and get free shipping on any canister. Drinkblitzenergy.com. Promo code RADIO20. That's drinkblitzenergy.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile Question of the Day, brought to you by Mintervention.com. Heidi, here's your question. What percentage of conversation time do most of us spend talking about ourselves? Oh, How much most of the time people spend... Do we talk about me, 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 my, I'm my, my, going my, to I, say I, 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 we, we, 60%. And the answer is 60%. <laughs> Heidi is right. <laughs> yeah. Again, 60% of our conversation time is spent talking about ourselves. It jumps to 80% if you're chatting on social media. So there you go. Wow. Heidi was dead on. You've never been right before. (laughs) I've been right. I mean, not during this thing. Not on this thing. I don't know what we're going to do. I have to buy you lunch or something. I don't know. (laughs) That is the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Join us in October for The Sands, a week of music and fun that's been described as the best week ever by many guests. This year, we have more icons and more fun. Loverboy, Belinda Carlisle, Lou Graham, Vanilla Ice, Samantha Fox, Firehouse, and many more already on the schedule. Plus, more announcements coming soon. Plan to join us October 25th through the 30th at Planet Hollywood Beach Resort Cancun. This all-inclusive event will be the time of your life. Learn more now at Radio Travel group.com now some weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com british jet suit company is giving superhuman powers to emergency responders <clears throat> great north ambulance service has embarked on a program using three trainees to fly the gravity industry's jet suit into the steep hills of the lake district in a demonstration jet suit inventor and developer richard browning flew a test route or route however you want to say it completing a more than 2000 foot climb Over 1.2 miles in about 3 minutes, 40 seconds. The 3D printed suit consists of two small turbines attached, like turbines like you'd see uh, on a jet. Two of those attached to each arm, then a larger one on their back. It can go over 80 miles an hour, capable of reaching an altitude of 12,000 feet, but is flown much lower for safety reasons. The next stage of this project is to get paramedics' flight skills to a level where emergency assistance will arrive through jet suit paramedics in a matter of minutes rather than hours trying to make their way through roads and you know traffic and everything else. They'll just literally fly there like Iron Man. That's a really great idea. It is, but it's also... It is sounds, very superhero-y, though, isn't it, it? Yeah, it really is. I've got a link if you want to see the video and all the details. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time now for the list, brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Our uh, our subject matter today for the list is Facebook. I've got a love-hate Facebook relationship, by the way. Every single time I get on there, I'm like, oh, what what is going on now? I like it because I know a lot of people are on there. You'll notice I don't share nearly as much stuff on there as I used to. I just don't have as much time for it because it's like, you know, I'm not a big fan. But here are signs Facebook has violated your privacy. <laughs> So the first one, your personal photos start showing up on billboards. Yeah, that could be. (laughs) Uh, Singles who live near you begin knocking on your door. Yeah, that would be bad. You get over a million hits when you Google your credit card number. (laughs) Your account has uploaded pictures of you sleeping all by itself. Uh, Another sign that Facebook has violated your privacy rights. Meghan Markle says she's glad at least you have more privacy. Okay. Uh, (laughs) You get friend suggestions based on your annual salary. Mark Zuckerberg is looking through your bedroom window right now. And the final (laughs) 
sign that fi- uh, Facebook has violated your privacy? You have an account on Facebook. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, thanks for sharing that. I needed that. I appreciate you listening to The List on The John and Heidi Show. Are you ready to enjoy a little slice of paradise? Check out this beautiful family-owned, professionally managed vacation rental in sunny Poipu, Kauai, Hawaii. Our family stayed recently and we absolutely loved it. The area is so beautiful and the vacation rental has room for up to six guests. Why stay in hotel rooms when you can all enjoy your own area in a vacation rental? Visit Hawaii and make your trip to this tropical paradise one to remember. Learn more at radiotravelgroup.com. That's radiotravelgroup.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Lily Tomlin is our quote for today. I like Lily Tomlin. What was the what do you mean you used to? I used to. She was she was in a lot of great movies. You don't? No. Well, she's been in a lot of great things. Uh, Here's her quote. When I was growing up, I always wanted to be someone. Now I realize I should have been more specific. I like that. (laughs) Lily Tomlin, quote of the day. Comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. It comes your way courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com. What an amazing story we have right here. Um, I like this. Woman calls officer her son's guardian angel after saving her child's life. A police officer in Woodstock, Georgia, is being hailed as a hero after saving a life of a two-year-old boy. Dixon was actually off the clock, heading home after a shift when the call for help came in. He jumped into action without hesitation, and he was the first on the scene. Yakima Harris said her son started vomiting after they arrived home from daycare and then stopped breathing. Oh she my. dialed 911. Dixon heard this call. Even though he was off duty, he was the first to arrive on the scene. He began CPR and was able to resuscitate the child. His eyes just opened. And once his eyes opened, the gravity of it all just hit, Dixon said, describing this as a rush of emotion. The boy was then taken to a local hospital and is doing well. Yakima Harris believes Dixon is her son's guardian angel. She says, I think he's an angel sent here from God. His presence was very needed at that time. I love that. Isn't that cool? that's amazing. I love that, too. I just think it's really, really neat. Um, again, I've got a link to that story if you want to read it. And and I just want to say, you know, so many times we hear stories of police officers when something goes wrong on their daily their daily shift. That's the way it is with everything. Yeah, it is. It? You only but hear it's the like, bad You things. know, when something negative happens, it's like those things hit the headlines all yep. the time. So I'm so glad this story uh, is a positive story that's hitting the headlines. And, and I hope it makes it... Round the world. That would be fantastic. By the way, uh, we had earlier in the program a Dear John letter. If you would like to submit a Dear John letter for next week, or if you want to chime in for our Dear John letter from this week, you can do all of that at the same place, facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Thursday.